hi guys good morning i just came back from dropping my kids at school and most times when i drop them at school and come back home i start doing one thing or the other till it's time for pickup like i literally never have a break till it's time for pickup because there's always so much to do it's either something that has to do with the housework or something that has to do with youtube so like now i'm filming a video even though this is a vlog but it's still filming so it's either i'm filming a video i'm editing a video i'm sending emails or i am washing clothes washing plates i've tried to restructure the way i do things right because the truth is that if an attack has seen too much <laughs> I don't know uh, I don't know the English translation or basically I get I won't even call it irritated there's no is it irritation if an attack has mania too much like I don't like when things are not organized that's the simplest way I can put it right I don't like when things are not organized so anytime I see a place that is not organized my reflex action is to go and start trying to organize the place okay however I realized that I now started organizing and washing and cleaning and arranging almost all day like if i'm not like if i'm not filming a video i'm washing i'm organizing i'm cleaning if i'm not editing i'm washing i'm organizing i'm cleaning okay sophia is here she's disturbing me instead of her to just go oh yeah go and play you don't want to go and play oh yeah go and watch tv you don't want to go and watch tv <laughs> okay go and read you don't want to go and read go and play with your toy you don't want to go and play with your toy is where i am that she must be anyway so uh what was i even saying self so yeah um i noticed that i was spending my whole day washing organizing cleaning or you know filming and doing stuff and that's aside the other things i do for my kids or do with my kids okay so what i decided to do now was i decided to change my after school routine i showed you guys a video of what i do after school i've scrapped that routine okay what i now do like after school drop off what i now do is after school drop off i either come and do my videos or my youtube or i go and watch a movie or something okay i've not had the time to watch a movie or something <laughs> but in my head that's my new routine if i don't have anything to do for work i will go and just watch a movie then when my kids come back from school that is when we will now go and clear the kitchen like all of us together i've been doing that in the past two or three days and it has worked for me so if you are giving my thing give me thank you it has worked for me in the past two or three days like i just left the kitchen and dining the way it was scattered i didn't even try to arrange anything then when they now came back from school that was when we now started arranging and sorting so i had more hands to help so cora is actually the one that helps me the most if i was always looking for an excuse to run away like the picking i'm just like you think i don't like you think i was born yesterday if tell if i if i come and clean this table she will now say, okay, she will not go to the table. She will not stand around the table. Maybe she will pick one thing from the table and play with that the entire, you know, so, but when she's in the mood to work, she actually works very well. In fact, she works when Eva actually wants to work. She's actually more detailed than Cora, but it's to get her to work that is the problem. Cora is always willing to help, aside the fact that she's even older, so she knows that she no not get choice. <laughs> but I try not to put that first daughter burden on her, that you're the first daughter, so you must do everything. No, I try to share it. The only person here that, that enjoys her life is Sophia. That one is, I even used to send that away. When we're trying to work, I'm like, go and watch TV, go and play, just so you don't distract us. Um, yeah, so that's my new routine now. So after school, when I drop them at school, I just come upstairs. I try to just close my eye. I don't look at the kitchen. I come upstairs. Sophia usually has breakfast while they have breakfast, but she doesn't eat so well. So later on in the morning, like at the later time, maybe around 10, I can get her something to eat. And then before we leave for school pickup, I also give her something to eat, but not like, actual food because they all have lunch together when my the other kids come back from school okay so that's what has been helping me now so i just try to close my eye and just run upstairs so that nothing will be disturbing me and then when they come back from school we'll know that we're, it's time to clean up so after we now clean up after that after they had their lunch after we clean up everywhere everybody is now good to go instead of me to be cleaning up in the morning after breakfast clean up in the afternoon after lunch clean up in the night after dinner because i usually clean up after dinner as well i try to just reset my kitchen back to you know square zero <laughs> i just reset my kitchen very well clean everywhere clean everywhere very well so that in the mornings it's like a bright new happy day um but yeah how you guys doing you guys i'm not feeling i don't know if you guys can tell but i'm not in the brightest of moods i can't really tell what the problem is i don't know if it's that i'm just tired or i'm just exhausted maybe i'm sleepy i don't know what it is but i'm not in the brightest of moods i need i don't know i was telling my husband the other day that <laughs> i wish i could just 
press pause right press pause like how everybody is in the house i'll just press pause then i'll go and spend one weekend or one week away in a hotel alone alone i need an alone time i need a, i need to be alone you guys i don't know how people complain of loneliness when they get to countries like this i'm not lonely at all loneliness is not my problem in fact i need to be alone so i wish i could just go spend one week alone and then come back and then press play so that I don't miss anything in their lives basically but that's what I that's what I wish I could just have because I'm actually getting overwhelmed I don't know if I'm chewing more than I can handle because I'm also running to other channels so I remember them when I was in Nigeria people used to be like oh how do you do it how do you do it and I always used to tell them that see as much as I'm being hard working as much as I'm not I work really hard I had enough help okay I had enough help I had house helps I had an assistant okay assistant helping me with YouTube yeah so I had an assistant that was helping me with my YouTube job okay I also had helps helping me with my household jobs but it's not because I couldn't do without help but it's because I was trying to avoid what is happening to me right now I was trying to avoid being consumed 247 by what I do okay what I do as a mom and what I do for a career right I was trying so hard not to be consumed with that that was why i tried to get as much help as possible okay so for people that used to say <laughs> i've seen people say things like oh abroad you don't need help abroad you don't need help my dear i don't i don't know which abroad people are living in you know? um you know telling nigerian women that you guys are so lazy how do we that we are abroad look at how we cope my dear you need help abroad you need help wherever you are as long as you are a mom as long as you are a working mom and you have small children you need help that's why so many people are depressed in this country you need help okay you need help you need a village there are so many women now that are going through stuff and they don't have anybody to help them and they are really suffering for it so i don't get that talk right now if i can get help if i can get like a house cleaner i'll be i'll be i'll be happy i'll be super <laughs> Again, it doesn't mean that I'm going to die if I don't have it. It doesn't mean that I will not do well if I don't have it, okay? But if I had help, I would spend less energy doing mundane things. I always say this. I don't like the fact that I spend so much time washing plates. I do, I, it does not add to me and my family to be washing plates. <laughs> It does not add to my soul to wash plates. I mean, sometimes it's therapeutic for me to wash plates and clean and arrange things. Sometimes it's therapeutic for me, but not all the time. Sometimes I just need someone else to do these things, okay? On the weekends, my husband does most of the work because I spend the weekends filming videos, especially hair videos. I spend the weekend filming videos, okay? And that reminds me, you guys, I have so many hair videos coming up, okay? I have, when I say so many, I mean, I have so many hair videos coming up, but please, you guys, please, don't run away from my channel when you see too many hair videos, please. <laughs> Don't feel like, oh, what's happening here? Please watch those videos if you can. If you can't, send them to someone that might watch, okay? Please support your girl. Support your girl, oh, I thank God, beg you now, okay? So, yeah, I have so many hair videos coming up. So, on weekends, most times, I film hair videos and I also film some other videos on the weekend. So, my husband takes over for me on the weekend. But it's like he's taking over from me, but I am not resting either. It's not like I'm resting. Anyway, let me drink my coffee. You guys, I bought this cup on Amazon, right? I wanted to buy the Stanley Cup after seeing so many people you know rave about it. I just couldn't spend that money on myself. I don't know. I, I just I just could not. So I bought it for my sister. If you guys know me, you know that I actually like cups a lot, like fancy cups, fancy um, mugs, okay, tea cups and and cups. If you leave me, I'll have a whole pantry or wardrobe or whatever full of them okay so i tried when i got here i tried not to buy too many things when it comes to like all those things i like anything i like i try not to buy too many things because i don't want clutter okay um yeah so i bought the standard cup for my sister but i still needed a cup i told myself you know what let me look for a cheaper version and buy so i got this one on amazon it's a cheaper version um it is not exactly leak proof okay so like the straw is just dangling inside it's not leak proof from the top but it does the job if you're not scaring this and running a marathon you're not holding it and you know jumping boss or something this will serve you so if you need a cup i'm going to leave a link to it in the description box if you need a cup this thing keeps things cold and keeps things hot in fact i always make my morning coffee in it sometimes when i want to just finish the coffee i have to open it and blow breeze into it so i can just finish the coffee because i'll be sipping 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 and the thing will still remain very very hot I'll have to open it and either blow into it or I'll just carry small cold water and add so I can just finish the coffee, okay? So it keeps things hot for a while and it also keeps things cold for a while even though I don't really use it for cold things that much because I don't I don't really care about cold water. I just drink water straight from my filter. Um, I'm also going to leave a link to that filter here. You guys, you will not believe it, but the reason I actually brought up this camera was to show you guys something I bought on TikTok shop, okay? I can't believe I fell for TikTok shop. I don't know, since I got here, I don't think I ever got 
I don't know, maybe I don't think TikTok shop exists in Nigeria. But since I got here, anytime I go on TikTok, I'll just be seeing TikTok shop, TikTok shop, TikTok shop, like buy this, buy that, buy this, buy that. So I saw some outfits on TikTok shop and I bought them. Let me show you guys, I'm talking too much. So I bought this outfit for three pounds each, three pounds something, okay? Let me show you guys what I bought for three pounds something. I was so shocked. In fact, I thought it was going to be a scam. So the thing might not come, or if it will come, it will be rubbish. But you guys, it's not rubbish, okay? So this is what the outfit looks like. This is the top. It is a, what do they call this thing? It is a, a what do they call this thing now? Body suit, uh -huh. so it's a body suit top and a trouser. Okay, so I'm going to be trying this on right now. I bought I bought this in 2XL. Is it 2XL I bought? Let me see the size I bought. I bought this in 2XL. Yeah, I bought this in 2XL, even though I think I'm an XL. A lot of people have pointed out to me that I lost weight. I think because of my last video where I was wearing black and black, that shorts. I put up I put up a shorts or a reel, and people are telling me, oh my god, you've lost weight, you look so snatched. I do not lose weight though, you guys. I do not lose weight. I'm still the same size. I'm still the same size I've always been. However, I have lost a little, very little, like maybe one kg or something, okay? And that's because I now want to consciously start trying to lose weight. That's why I lost a little. Not because maybe activities made me lose weight or whatever. Like, no, I'm still the same size. My clothes are still the same. I'm still wearing the same clothes I was wearing when I was in Nigeria and they're still the same size. And also, you guys, if I wasn't a YouTuber, but if I wasn't doing YouTube, especially the hair videos and stuff, I will have only four clothes, though. I will have only four outfits because there is no point. <laughs> there's actually no point buying so many clothes, okay? There's actually no point buying so many clothes. You guys, the sun that comes into this room, eh, sometimes it gets so overwhelming. This, my video is just going to be all over the place. Sometimes the sun comes too much and, you know, gets so overwhelming. When I'm filming, it annoys the hell out of me. Anyway, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, if I wasn't doing YouTube, especially the sit-down videos part of YouTube, like my second channel and my hair videos, if I wasn't doing that, I'll have just four clothes, two leggings, two t-shirts, and that's it, and my jacket. Because that's what I wear most of the time for school run. So anytime you see me wearing any fancy outfits, it's just for filming sake. It's not because I wore it anywhere, okay? It's just for filming sake. Anytime I'm going out, you're going to see me leggings and t-shirts. But because I was trying to divert away from, you know, the leggings and t-shirt um, outfit, that was why I got this outfit. So you guys, I got this outfit for three pounds i think three pounds 24 something like that okay because everything i paid was eight pounds no not eight pounds everything i paid was six pounds 37 okay when they even removed the money from my account i was like ah. so this thing is real <laughs> this thing is real anyway let me just try it out so this color so i don't know how to even get the link and stuff because i just saw it on tiktok shop and i ordered it i know if i go back there i'll see but to be honest i don't really care so this is the trouser so i bought blue this is like navy blue and I also bought um, I bought navy blue and I bought brown It's a very good material, right? But it's not so thick, it's not like sweater or anything You know, it's like, it's this ribbed material It's ribbed, but it's really nice can, Hey, yeah, you guys can see it So it's a ribbed material It's really nice So let me just try this one on And show you guys what it looks like, okay? I've not had my bath, that's why I can try it on, but if I've had my bath, I don't like trying clothes after I've had my bath. But since I've not had my bath and I'm going to have my bath really soon, I usually have, if I have my bath very late at night, like if I have my bath, like last night, I had my bath around 12 midnight. So that was why I didn't have my bath this morning before I took my kids to school. So I'll have my bath before I go and pick them, okay? Let me test this, let me go and try this outfit out. You guys, hey, 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 you guys, I am so excited for this outfit. Just take a look at this. I mean, I'm not wearing the right bra. This is one nonsense bra I just wear when I'm at home and I just want to, you know. But you guys, look at this. You guys, look at this. This is so beautiful. I don't know if you guys can see it well, because I, I, I want to show you guys the full thing. You guys, just look at this. What? Look at this, look at this. Come on, say hi. <laughs> say hi. Ooh, hi. see our ballet princess. Today is uh, World Book Day and her siblings had to wear costumes to school. So just so that she won't feel left that I had to dress her up that way, like a ballet princess. But you guys, let's talk about this outfit. I bought this outfit three pounds something. I bought it two. Said it was on sale anyway, but three pounds something for a full outfit like this. I love it! So now, when I'm going for school runs, I don't have to just wear t-shirt and leggings, t-shirt and leggings. I can wear this one. 
if I had known I would have bought more and I like the size I bought okay it's a bit big I didn't put the clasp of the top okay I didn't clasp it down very well um, yeah, even though I can't but I just, I just didn't want to because I was soon remove it I could have actually worn an XL but personally I don't even want it to be tight like too tight I just like the way it is. I like how free the pants are Okay eh, eh, oh, oh, oh. I like how free the pants are. I like how free the pocket is. This is lovely and how high waist it is so I can wear it here because my the smallest part of my waist is actually up here, not down here. So I actually pull things up like this when I wear them. Even if even Cora does the same thing. Cora always pulls her trousers up here, okay? So I like it. Mm. If I can find the link, just for you guys' sake, I'll put the link in the description box. TikTok, you better come and better come and give me TikTok shop so that I can be selling things for you people because I'm actually very impressed by this outfit. Even though I know I'm protected from the cold, I don't feel hot either. You guys, I'm really so impressed with this outfit here. I was so impressed that I decided to go and check how much I bought it because it's doing me as if I'm not sure. Maybe it's, it's one I actually bought for six, six, um, uh, whatever, okay? <laughs> I went to check, just look at the price. I don't know if you guys can see this. TikTok shop, £6.57. You guys, can you guys see? £6.57. Okay. Hey, 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 no, no, no. My batteries, no, 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 no. You guys, this is what I go through with this girl. This child has all the toys in the world. She will leave them and it's my own things you want to come and play with. Ebi, are you okay? Anyway, you guys, so this is the outfit. This is the blue one. I like it. The top of the blue one feels a little bit tighter. Maybe it's just in my, in my head. I feel like the top of the blue one fits, feels a little tighter. Or is it the way I wore it? Maybe I didn't wear it well. Mm, I don't think it's the way I wore it though. Ah, this might better no work. But yeah, I don't think it's the way I wore it. But it feels a little tighter. But just look at this. I love it. <laughs> it's called minimally something, something, something. Anyway. Just for you guys, so I'll go and look for that link and put it in the description box as well as the link to this um, cup. You guys, I know that I like coffee, but I am not addicted to coffee. I can say that I am not addicted to coffee because I go months without drinking coffee and sometimes I drink it every single day, okay? However, the way I'm feeling good after drinking this coffee... <laughs> if you remember when I started this video... What? You can't drink this, so. No, you can't drink it. If you remember when I started this video, I was a bit, you know, down and all of that, but I'm oh, listen. It's doing something to my inside. Maybe because it's just warming me up. I don't know. And hey, you guys, please, I need your help, okay? I really need your help. I was about to go and have my bath actually when I remembered this, okay? Now, whoever is a doctor or a pathologist, physiologist, <laughs> physiotherapist, whatever it is. I need somebody to tell me what this thing is on my arm. So, I just noticed this spot on my arm recently. I don't know if it is, I don't know what is causing it. Can, oh, this my camera was not showing it well. Can you guys see this? Just look at this, look at these spots on my hand. So I have it on this arm and I also have them on this arm as well. I just discovered them on my arm the other day. They are not painful. So they're not painful spots. They're not itchy, nothing. I just, woke up one day and started seeing dark spots on my arm and it's very shocking for me because I don't typically have spots on my skin especially below my neck okay sometimes I have spots on my face due to pimples and all of that but on my body I don't really have that many spots on my body except all these uh, is it freckles they call it or birthmark I don't know if you guys can see it so aside those freckles or whatever you call them or birthmarks I don't have spots on my body so I was actually shocked when I started seeing these spots in fact I think I was filming one video one time when I raised my arms I think I was filming a hair video I raised my arms and I saw this thing and I was like eh what is that so they are not painful they are not itchy they are just there they are dry they actually look dry I don't know if new ones are coming up or these are just old ones that have faded that I didn't notice but they came quite sudden and I'm thinking that it's because I place my hand like this because it's just here, it's just this inner part of my hand so I don't have it here and I don't have it anywhere else on my body I have it just in here so I was now wondering, okay, is it because I put my arms like this on my table when I'm filming or when I'm doing hair video, maybe the table was dirty and or not even dirty, maybe there was something on the table that I'm allergic to that caused this. I don't know, but you guys let me know in the comment section. If you're even a normal person that has dealt with something like this, then let me know in the comment section because it's actually giving me 
worry. I have gone to Google. Dr. Google, okay? I've gone to Dr. Google and you guys know how it is with Dr. Google. Dr. Google is actually quite scary. My consolation is the fact that it is only in here that I have it on both arms, okay? That's my only consolation. It's not it's not all over my body, so I'm not really going by what Google is telling me. But at the same time, I don't like it. It's quite unsightly. Like, it looks like chicken pox or what? Yeah, it looks like chicken pox or something. Just, I don't, I don't like this at all. What is this? So please let me know in the comment section what you guys think it is and what I should do about it or what you think, what you suggest that I should do about it. I mean, it doesn't mean that I'm just going to take whatever you guys say and just run with it without doing my own research or without going to the hospital, okay? I'm saying that for people that will be like, no, you need to go to the hospital, stop looking for uh, help online or whatever. I understand that part, okay? But I just want to know what people will say about it and then I'll now do my own research and whatever makes the most sense, I'll go with it, okay? But let me know what you guys recommend. What do, what do you think it is? What do you recommend? Because I'm not finding it funny, oh, hmm. And forget that I'm here smiling. I'm not even smiling actually. But forget that I'm here talking normally. I did not. I'm not finding this thing funny because, like I said, I don't have spots on my body, so this one just looks terrible. I have a hospital appointment for the 12th of April. I think I'll wait till then to just ask about it. I don't think it's an emergency kind of thing, even though this big one looks somehow. But I don't think it's an emergency kind of thing. And again, like I said, it's not painful. It's not itchy. It's just hey god do. they actually look like injuries that have healed and are just drying up okay but for the way it looks it's supposed to at least pain me or itch me okay for the way it looks it looks like something that's supposed to either pain me or itch me so why is that i don't have any symptoms of that no pain no itch and it's like this i don't like it anyway hmm I'm just going to end this vlog here. I need to rest a little bit before my kids come back from school. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.